When Muhlenberg and Sales meet in soccer, it's usually a pretty good matchup. Last night was no exception as fans were on the edge of their seats. Both teams coming uh, off the field off of back-to-back -back, uh, double overtime battles looking for a victory. Leah Kosi has the highlights. Coming off of their third tied game in four matches, the Muhlenberg men ranked 19th in the country by D3Soccer.com won in nothing more last night than to get back on the winning track. Playing a non-conference matchup against 7-3-1 DeSales, their biggest rival, who are also looking to rebound off a double overtime loss to Manhattanville. In the first half, the Mules will outshoot the Bulldogs 13-4 and several of these shots are fierce, but watch as DeSales keeper Adam Franzik makes one amazing save after the other, denying shots by Cody Antonini and Nate Squire to keep the mules off the board for the first 45 minutes. But the Bulldogs offense will also come up empty-handed against mules keeper Jason Daniels as the game remains scoreless at half. But in the second, Muhlenberg finds a break when senior Eric Williams takes a free kick and sends it over to sophomore Danny Way, who scores his sixth goal on the season. The Mules take a 1-0 lead. In the final 26 and a half minutes, the Bulldogs will get a few chances to tie it up. Junior Derek Long with a bullet, but Daniels makes the save, one of three on the night, and the Mules keep up their attack. Antonini fires another one off, and Franzic is there with a one-handed save. Three minutes later, Antonini again, but this time it's the crossbar that stops him from scoring. And at the 3 46 Mark Franzig again denies the junior four, this time on a penalty kick. But in the final two minutes and 20 seconds, Antonini will finally break free of the DeSales defense and score his 12th goal on the season. And that will be all in this match as Muhlenberg gets the win 2 0. They're six shutout on the year, while DeSales suffers back to back losses, falling to 7 4 and 1. That was a great win. You know, we're coming off a bunch of ties. Uh, it's good to get a win on our belt. Hopefully, we can keep that going. Still undefeated. Yep. So. What's that like? Uh, it's good, you know, we're still in the running. Uh, def teams are close in the conference, so still, still a close game. It's always uh, great to get a win. Um, DeSales is having a good year this year, so uh, a big regional game. Both teams ranked in the region, um, so it's, it's always a, a good win. We stuck to a game plan, and the field wasn't great for playing ball on, and we just tried to play, you know, a bit more direct, and, you know, we had a couple of chances off corners. It felt to, you know, maybe not our top guy, Derek, but... At the end of the day, you know, they uh, they played pretty, pretty well. They took the two, you know, they took chances and they took them. How about your keeper tonight? Pretty pretty amazing night. Adam is fantastic. He's been like that all year. And uh, I think he's one of the best keepers in, in their conference. And probably one that, you know, he's really matured over the last year. And he's really worked hard in this game. And, you know, uh, kudos to Coach Hal, the goalkeeping coach. He's, he's really made him doing well. Muhlenberg captures their first win in almost two weeks to remain undefeated. Now they'll look for their second conference win this Saturday when they host Washington College. You know, it's it's never an easy game in conference, and we need to buckle down and, and get another win. At Muhlenberg College, Leah Cosi, Two Sports.